Hi everyone, I uh, hope you're well. I just wanted to do uh, a quick introduction of a certain person um, of interest, um, not by many, but a few, um, because um, I've been doing a little bit of research over the last uh, few months uh, or weeks, I should say, um, as and when I had a little time. And I've been approached by many people as well with different stories that go back um, many years, actually, um, you know, as far back as 10 plus years, quite frankly. Um, and what I find interesting is that when I collate um, all of the information given and I cross reference them, there is the same pattern that's been going on for years. And even though the story might change, um, there is definitely a certain pattern that happens um, before this individual asks for donations. And it's funny because it's something that I myself and a few others have come up with recently. So it's kind of shocking, but also a refreshing and also confirmation that what we are now saying is <laughs> it's basically been going on for a long time and it needs truth and and the one the most important thing is actually that it shows that this individual is no one else other than Erin Sean Green at the time known as Hicks because that was her married name um so yeah, is um, hmm, interesting. So I have written a little introduction of this person uh, as part of my forum. Um, so we can all warn people, um, you know, not to get scammed, basically, not to be hurt. That is the most important thing for us, to be honest. Um, you know, especially if you are somebody that is um, fragile that needs real support, guidance and help, um, this is the last person you want to uh, go to. And we have seen too many people, too many people being hurt that um, we just had enough. We cannot stand for this anymore. So uh, yeah, here we go. Who is Erin Green Hicks? Well, as we all recently discovered, a liar and scam artist. But let's go back and give some background for those who do not know her. She rose to notoriety because of her interview on Project Camelot in 2013. Erin Green Hicks, aka Erin Sinclair, aka Erin Rothschild and now Eve Green. She made many outlandish claims with no real evidence regarding being many things, including but not limited to a Rothschild daughter, a hybrid MK Ultra alien who is from a parallel universe, a time traveller, a perpetual gang stalked whistleblower, an Archangel, a MK Ultra monarch super soldier, Archangel Michael, then the carrier of Archangel Michael's spirit, the Lady of Twelve Stars, Mary Magdalene, Madame Mary, the female Jesus, now Eve from the Bible. A cloned being. She's Eve, not Erin. Erin was one of her many clones. Eve was kept in a hidden status chamber by the Illuminati. The list goes on. She did a few interviews with Kerry Cassidy, Miles Johnson and others. You can find them on YouTube. Many have come into contact with her over the years and pay dearly. I was involved with her directly for a year and it's why I am now speaking up. To expose the fraud that she is and to stop adders from being financially defrauded and hurt. She targets the most vulnerable and those in search of answers and guidance. There is no doubt MK Ultra, Mylab, Monarch Programming, Super Soldier Programs etc. exist. But Erin Shaw Green is a fraud. A wannabe in search of fame and an easy way to make money. Until now. 
She constantly hounds her social media friends for donations to support her. Erin has claimed she and at the time her family are under constant attack and on the run from them, the Illuminati. She eventually reinvented herself and joined forces with her now wife, real name Dawn Pollock, Aka Levend Vanderbilt, Aka Lucifer, Aka Bathome, Aka God. The underlying plot is still the same. We're running from the Illuminati, we're in danger, and instead of hiding, they've been known to stream live Facebook videos showing their location, knitting, eating, slandering, and attacking innocent people. I guess they are not in danger after all. Only you're having no money or being able to live off someone's hard-earned money or even living under their roof. They both claim to be love and light and to live and forgive all. Well, only until you post or say something that is contrary to them or their agenda. They've both been a loose cannon and have serious control issues. For many years, Erin personally bullied her own social media friends and threatened them with removing anyone who does not agree with her. She controls um, their friends' connections and suspects everyone. When money gets low, she makes up another fantasy story, now with the help of her wife. She was married to a man and has five children, which she now refuted, as she's Eve, not Erin, remember? So use them before as excuses. These are the ones I've been told of. Johnny was almost run off the road today by a black SUV. Oh my God, my daughter found this mysterious package on our porch. It's a child size two shoes. It's the Illuminati sending us a message. They don't want me talking. The following message would be, we're out of dog food, bottle water, toilet paper and food. Please send donations to our PayPal. Nothing has changed, I see. She still uses the same pattern now. I've been told of how she would publicly humiliate Johnny and tell people of how he wouldn't show her affection and then publicly admit several times she has cheated on him throughout their entire marriage. She's temporarily nice to those who are currently uh, donating. Once you stop, she ignores you completely and even starts attacking you. We've all seen her blatantly rude and nasty to people who have done nothing to deserve it, including myself and others in my circle. She uh, removes people off her social media and disposes of good people every day for childish, mundane, trivial things like simply not agreeing with her narrative. I have called her up on this and because of issues with the law, she's um, pretending to be calm. She's very jealous of what others have on any level. She truly has no idea that the rest of society works for what they have. She claimed uh, her then husband was best friends with Scott Speecher, the pilot who was the first casualty of um, Desert Storm. As always, no evidence was ever produced. She also claimed Barack Obama would be the last president because he was going to declare martial law. The story goes on and on and on. I am the latest casualty and the wrong person to wrong. I was really close to them and know the truth and I will expose them so they will never fall, hurt or take money away from people who truly need every penny they get. It's time to stop her and a trail of lies, slander and destruction.